are now inside the play call with Orange Arrow. And I'm your host, Sean Robinson. And today we have a very, very <laughs> special guest, Christopher Chris Wilson, a.k.a. K-Dub, a.k.a. Chill, a.k.a. Chris <laughs> with the K. What's up, boss? How are you? Life is good, man. I ain't got no complaint. I, 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 could, I, I could complain, but don't nobody want to hear me complain. <laughs> hey, so I said AKA Chill. Do you remember why I call you Chill? I know exactly why you call me Chill, bro, but yeah. I don't look nothing like that dude. <laughs> <laughs> what dude are you talking about? A hey, house party. I already know. Right. <laughs> the dude Chill. Yeah, for the, for the party, man. You know how it is, man. We were in college trying to come up with jokes. I was like, man, you look like Chill, man. So it kind of stuck chill, a little chill, bit. Chill, he kept bumping the table. Right, right. <laughs> he kept hey, bumping great, the DJ table. Man, that was a great movie. What's your favorite part of that movie? Uh, gotta be um, um, who was it? Full Force. Okay. Whenever, whenever Full Force came on the scene, it was and they were, you smell that? <laughs> right. <laughs> I smell. We'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Yeah. Classic man. So uh, we're gonna get to. You know, when we were teammates, speaking of teammates, man, one of our teammates who turned brother to both of us, uh, our guy, Lusaka Polite, he just had mm -hmm. a, he and his wife just had a, another baby girl the other day mm -hmm. recently, your girl dad. Speak to us about being a girl dad, man. Um, you know, I, I think everybody's um, experience is a little bit different, but it, but for me personally, what's unique about my journey um, and, uh, you know, my fatherhood journey is that I spent most of my life surrounded by boys and men. Like at every turn I had, I had all, I had, I had a sister, but I was, I had my brothers that was living with me most of the time. All my cousins, all my cousins was boys. I played sports. It was always guys and men around at all times. So, you know, having to, um, sort of transition and, be raising girls is like there's a there's a learning curve you know and and there's sensitivity training and so it's it it definitely forced me to grow and expand and understand how to see the world um from a perspective that's not a male perspective you know, and that was that was important for for my growth, and it's it's still important for my growth. You know, you go in, you come into it thinking that you're going to impart all this knowledge and impart all this wisdom, but I think people underestimate the amount of learning, right, and what, what you're given in the process. You know, you.